It's the magic of math here, and today we are going to learn about factoring and its inverse operation, distribute. Here's our question today. We are asked to factor this expression, 55m add 30. We're going to enter your expression in this space that's provided, and you're asked to enter only your expression in the box. Of course, you're at home. So you're not going to enter it in the box, but you're going to write it on your paper and check back. So here is where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Understanding that we are going to factor this expression. I want to show you the area model today. It's a perfect way to use this as a graphic organizer to organize your thoughts to factor this expression. So we start with a rectangle that's divided into two sections, one, two, because we have two terms to our expression. So we're going to take this expression, each term, and bring it down into a cell in the table. So 55m add 30. So all I've done is transfer my algebraic expression, one term, in each box. So I have our rectangle here. And talking about area model is that we understand that the area is either length times width or base times height. We're going to use that concept to factor. Here we go. We're going to factor this coefficient of m. So this is 55 times m. So when we talk about factor, we want to know what common factors are there between these two terms. So let's factor 55. 55 is the product of two prime values, 5 times 11. 5 times 11 is 55. They're both prime numbers, so this is completely factored. And we do 5 times 11 times m. Now let's factor 30 and try to consider that we're going to use one of these factors, because that's what we're looking for is a common factor. Well, we know that 11 is not evenly divisible into 30, but 5 is definitely a factor of 30. 5 times 6 is 30. So our factors here are going to be 5 and 6. So even though 6 is not prime, we were looking for a common factor. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 11 is 55. So our common factor between the two terms is 5. So we're going to put our common factor right here as the dimension of our rectangle. So this dimension of our rectangle is going to be 5. So now what we're going to do is come up to our dimension here, and we're going to use parentheses because we're going to add these two together. So we have this square, which isn't a perfect square. We're just using it as a model. So we want to know 5 times what will have this quote unquote area of 55m. Well, we can use our factors from below because we know that 5 times 11 is 55. So if we factored out the 5 here, we have 11 and our m remaining. So we're going to put in this box 11m. And when we do that, we take that factor 11m. 5 times 11m is 55m. You can also look at it as dividing. So if we have this and we consider this long division, 55m divided by 5 is 11m. So it works out. Now we want to know what goes right here. So we're going to do 5 times what is 30. And that's our remaining factor from here. That's 6. So we're going to put the 6 up in here. 5 times 6 is 30. So now we have our dimension of 5 for our area model, multiplied right here, we're going to put our 5 in the box, and we're going to multiply it by our second dimension, which is adding these two together, and in our parentheses, 11m plus 6. So this expression, 55m plus 30 factored, is 5 multiplied by the quantity 11m plus 6. Now we're going to check our work. We're going to check our work by using the distributive property. 5 times 11m is 55m, 5 times 6 is positive 30. 55m plus 30 is our given expression. So there you have it. Our solution, our factored expression, is 5 times the quantity 11m plus 6. 
And there you have it. That is the relationship between factoring and distributive property. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.